Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I'm talking about AMC stock. Take a look at AMC. It's now below $5 per share, which if you're thinking about pre-split, it would be less than 50 cents a share now if you consider it pre-split, if you want to think of it that way. So we broke below $5 per share. So the question is, why is AMC having bad earnings? Um, did they have uh, you know, anything serious happen in the movie industry that would cause a collapse like this? Um is revenue down? Uh, what's going on? Because our most recent Q3 earnings show massive improvements over the previous quarter and over the previous year. And all the numbers for AMC are improving very strongly. So everything good is on the financial side is looking much better than it ever has in the last like several years since pre-pandemic. Okay, and it's gotten better and better and better and better and better every quarter. So the question is, why is AMC stock crashing again and again and again? So that's what we need the answers to because it's not what's going on in the movie industry. We're not having failures of movies. We're not having a lack of revenue or anything like that. Yes, we know the debt is there for AMC. We do know that. We also know we're dealing with a CEO that's working against us. But why is the stock crashing like are the market makers planning something again? Like, if you learn from Mullen Automotive and you watch Mullen and you saw how Mullen went through four reverse splits, you worry and you think, you're like, did criminal Adam Aaron see what happened with Mullen and is he trying to do that same thing? Because they got 90% of the shares that everyone was holding, they stole them, and they crashed the stock lower than it was before the reverse split. You guys do understand that, right? Okay. You have to understand the AMC stock right now is lower than it was before the reverse split. So they successfully took 90% of everyone's shares free, absolutely free. Not only that, the stock is lower than it was before the reverse split, in addition to you only having 10% of your shares left. Now, if they go for another reverse split, it's over, game over. They've, they will have taken everything from everyone. Well, they're pretty much right there now. So that's why I'm like not fully convinced that they're going to do another reverse split because they've already taken 90% plus more. Um, unless they were in so deep that they still haven't covered the synthetics. That's the thing that makes me wonder, well, maybe they do need another reverse split theft campaign because maybe they didn't cover the naked shorting. And they the reason they got it so low is because they sold shares short that aren't in existence you know and they've got to return those and they can't return those because they've sold so many short that aren't even exist in existence you know what i'm saying and they can get those back from another reverse split theft campaign so maybe that's what's going on what do you guys think comment below but one thing you can't deny you take a look at the three month price of amc stock and it's absolutely crashing um you look at the price on the year it's down over 90 percent on the last 12 months um and that's in addition to the 90% share theft campaign, okay? So um, the stock just keeps going down and down and down. The other thing is like, you know, are they just trying to shake everyone out and get everyone to sell and then they finally let it run like crazy? That's a possibility too. We just don't know. You just have to be very aware and continue to watch very closely what's going on. And you have to be cautious with it, you know? Now, if AMC goes down to like a dollar per share... <laughs> then maybe you might buy a little more. Who knows? I don't know. But it's just so risky right now. And you can't trust the CEO. And the other thing that's significant to note is that the AMC share float right now is about a, le a little less than half, half of what it was pre-reverse split. And the stock is lower significantly lower than it was pre-reverse split. Just think on that for a moment. About half the amount of shares out in circulation and the stock is lower than it was pre-reverse split. Significantly lower. What's going on? Is there corruption going on? And then you, you look at the books and you think, hey, it looks to me like there might be some sort of money laundering going on because we're paying 278% higher rent than Cinemark is paying. That's one of many areas that you can look at and say, this don't look right, this don't look right, this don't look right, this don't look right. And then you look at the recent vote we had and all 100% of broker votes approved to keep the um, AMC um, accountants, okay? They didn't want to switch accounting firms. 
And on all the other votes, they didn't vote 100% anywhere near it. And a lot of them, they didn't vote at all. But on that one, they voted 100%. Let's keep our accounting firm. I find that interesting too. What are they doing with the books? Hit like, subscribe, add notifications, share the video with a friend, comment below. What do you think about all this? Very interesting. It's like, it's like driving past a car accident, isn't it, guys? Very interesting. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.